So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out some old video clips I took out in St. Louis a few years ago. This was a real memorable trip. I went out there with a skateboard. I flew to St. Louis with my skateboard. I got on public transportation, I took the train, had no idea where I was or what to expect. I really wanted to check out this old, this old freight depot. This seems really interesting to me. I actually ran into um, some guys who lived in the building. They had their own separate ladder to go to other floors. The stairs were chopped out. They seemed pretty really protective over the place. I tried bringing them some cigarettes. Cigarettes were really cheap out there to see if I could at least get to see one of the floors, but they weren't having it. So also, the first thing I did off the plane was, they went, I found this local biker bar. I mean, it was a real biker bar. And they had food there, and I got some beers, and I ended up meeting some local guy who, he was just telling me all sorts of crazy stories, but that was a great way to start the trip off. Now at the Paint Lewis wall, it was really uh, crazy. It was a real like time warp of like, there was really old pieces from previous jams. chapters of uh, graffiti history went down went down here but I actually ended up seeing a piece by Zexer who's a New York writer that passed away last year had a piece and I, it was brand new so I, I wrote him on Instagram but he was you know kind of shocked I was there as well we were the only New York writers that were actually there at that last jam they had and she gave, offered me some advice and uh, she said, told me to be careful.
I really became interested in this uh, sculptor named Bob Cassily, and I came across some information that he had some uh, abandoned themed cement park themed uh, amusement park that he never finished completing, and it was like a place to explore. And I really wanted to check it out. It was an eerie place. It was really weird being by yourself. I mean, honestly, my main concern was the heat. It was really hot, and I did not have enough water with me. And uh, you know, God forbid something happened, I was a little concerned I'd be stuck there for a while in the sweltering heat, not knowing who was gonna pass through next. I mean, one of the best things about exploring and just traveling is putting yourself in a place where you have no idea. You have to like learn as you go. And that's exactly what was happening here. I, 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 was, I was out there solo. I wasn't rolling with anyone to give me advice other than the guy I met at the bar. Oh, 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 oh,